Alright guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be taking a look at this new plugin for Scratch Live. It's called Mixlist. Um, it's not actually developed by Serato. It's developed by a third-party company called Inklin. Uh, they're based out of New Zealand also, which is where Serato was from. Uh, but this Mixlist plugin um, keeps track of the songs you play in Scratch Live. And also at the end uh, of your set, you can print this list out. Uh, that's good because I know a lot of your radio DJs you need to turn in a printout of the songs you play to your program director, or music director, or whoever. Or if you just want to have a printout of that bomb ass set you played at the club last night and you were too drunk to remember to go into the review area and scratch live and drag all the songs into a new crate. Uh, so this mix list plugin takes care of that for you. As I mentioned, it'll keep track of songs you play in scratch live. So let's load up Scratch Live first of all. Uh, now the problem though with the review area is if it keeps track of all songs you load in Scratch Live, uh, but you might not have necessarily played them. Like uh, you just you know you're browsing through songs and you're loading them up to see which one you want to play next. They still get marked and put into the review list even if you don't play them. If you even if you just just load them to a, a deck and you don't actually play it, it still gets marked in the review area. But this plugin, this mixlist plugin, gets around that because it uses a, a nifty algorithm to determine which songs you play and which songs uh, you only just load to a deck and preview. So let me uh, tab over to it and bring it up. Uh, so you can pin this on top of the Scratch Live screen and run it on top if you want, or you can run it in the background. It doesn't matter. Uh, I'm going to pin it on top so I can show you, and you just click that pin button right there, and it'll stay on top. So let's uh, so. Obviously, there's only two decks in Scratch Live, the left deck or the right deck. So, uh, let's say you start your set, you load a song to the left deck. Alright, so you might notice the song doesn't get added here in the list yet. So, let's say I go ahead and play the song on the left deck, so I have to load a song into the right deck now, obviously. So, I do that, and then now you'll see that the song on the, the first song on the left deck gets added to the list. So, now you go ahead and play the second song that's on the right deck. Mix that in, whatever. Uh, so the first song on the left deck is now done. So now let's say you're going through and you're searching for the next song to play. And you'll notice now that the song on the right deck finally gets marked when you load the third song onto the left deck. So but let's say, oh, I don't want to play this song. I'm just checking it out and I decide not to play it. So I want to go uh, find a different song now. So I can go through and load songs to the left deck. And you'll notice it's not getting added to the mix list um, list. Uh, so how is that working then? So uh, it's not going to add the song until you load the song, a new song, to the other deck. So it kind of works on a an A B A B type of algorithm. So uh, that's really nice, and that'll work for probably the majority of people. Um, that works better, in my opinion, than having like a, a threshold timer, like say. Oh, don't mark a song until unless it's played for 30 seconds or 60 seconds or whatever. Uh, this ABA method uh, works a lot better, in my opinion. And so, eventually, at the end of the night, you'll have a, a nice list of songs. And as I said, you can export this list. So, let me just put a couple more in there. Alright, so, let's close Scratch Live now. So, as I mentioned, you can export this song. Uh, this to a text file that you can print out. So all you have to do is just go to file and you can export to a, a CSV file which is a, a comma separate, separated value file or an XML file. I'll use a CSV and just save it. Now you can retitle it whatever and choose where you want to save it. And just click save and there it is. So if we double click it now it'll open and there you go. We have a nice text file that you can print out right here and but as I mentioned, um, well I didn't mention but I'm going to mention it now, a CSV file is a comma separated value file and that means you can open it up in a spreadsheet program like Excel or NeoOffice or OpenOffice and you can separate it and it'll be in all these nice columns like it's shown here in Mixlist like you have the date and time you loaded the deck to which deck you loaded it to, song name, artist, all that stuff. You can separate it uh, into the columns in the spreadsheet program. Actually, I'm going to close this now. So you're going to want to select your comma as the delimiter in whatever spreadsheet program you're using. I'm using NeoOffice, which is a free spreadsheet program for Macs. And 
there you go. As you can see here, it separates it into all the different columns. And so there you go. You can now print this out, and it'll be all nice and separated into the different columns. And you can get fancy if you want. And oh, bold the columns, center them. You can move the columns around if you want. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Now you have a nice printout of the set list that you just played in Scratch Live. It does it automatically all for you. You don't have to uh, drag anything from the review area to the crate. And if you get too drunk, you forget to do it. So uh, this is real handy. I really like this plugin. And the best part is, is it's free. Uh, the bad part is, it's only for Macs only. So sorry, PC guys, it's Mac only plugin. But uh, check it out. Uh, download it. It's free. Go to www.inkln.com. So www.inkln.com.